Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the TRX-4 Camel Trophy build that I did earlier. So this is going to be build video 3. I know it is already complete, but I can still explain. And it's dirty because I've been driving it. <laughs> I've been going on some trails now. I'm gonna explain how I mount the body, the lighting system, or I mount the lights in the body. But first, I need to talk about the chassis. It's the chassis first. So this chassis is a TRX4 chassis kit, and it's that one. It's that one TRX4 chassis kit, and. That TRX of chassis is the perfect size for the Indura body because it's 313 millimeters. That's 12.3 wheelbase. The only few issues, as you can see, that I have to cut the rear section of the mud flaps or the inner fenders, sorry, the inner fenders off. And same with the front, to cut the inner fenders and the fronts off so the body can fit. So the body fits perfectly. The shock towers are mounted in the inner fenders. So that's one of the reasons why I had to cut the inner fenders. This can be avoided if you purchase the separate shock mounts from either Truxus or your local hobby shop. I can have the link. So the link will be in the video. Now so that that suspension link kit are suspension mount kit that you have just saw on the screen um, that's the one you're gonna need for this if you don't want to cut your fenders or if you buy the kit that said apart from that everything bolts up perfectly didn't have to do any modification to the chassis or anything apart from cutting these the next inside one of the wire holders yep so, so that wire holders are for the antenna so it doesn't flip up and touch the body now I've got some magnets, so I'm going to talk about body mounts. No, body mounts. No, the, the magnets that you're looking at now on the screen, those are the magnets that I use for the body mounts. And those magnets are 10 kgs from bottom of Amazon. Uh, I think you get eight in the kit. I think it's eight comes in the kit. And it comes with these stainless steel mounting plates. So there's two there. There's one there, and there's another one. There's another one there. Why mines are cut is because I mount that, that skid plate, that front skid plate, our front protection chassis kit protection kit. So I had to cut mine so it sits flush, as you can see. If you haven't had this kit, then you don't need to cut it. It just bolts right in the chassis. You may need to bore or drill a hole here and drill another hole on the opposite side. Where is it? Yeah, drill a hole on the opposite side to mount it. And to show you, I'll give you an idea. It's just a self tapping screw. So I'm going to use that self tapping screw to put those in and that was it very easy now the body let's get to the body now now as you can see the body the body comes with the holes already um, for the for the body mount first to the back and it also comes with these black rods for the front body bounce as well this needs to be attached back to that yeah as you can see i'm running the traxxas control lighting module i will explain this shortly yeah so what i did i mount mines as you can see on the far one to the first slot that's where i mount my um it's called it you now rod i call it <laughs> magnet rod and then i put the two two magnets in what you're gonna need what the kit doesn't supply and i'm gonna put in the picture now so 
that picture that you're looking at, that you might need to purchase that screw kit. It's a hobby screw kit and it comes with those countersink screws or bolts, nuts. That's perfect for these sort of applications because if you have the bulging screws, then the magnet won't sit perfectly. And yeah, that's about it for the for, for the for the body mounting. I had to trim the spit of the interior, just those two bit of the interior for this to sit here. Cause I'm gonna install the rock lights soon to install the rock lights, and I want to install two at the back and two at the front. So that's why I keep keep the fenders. So now you know why I cut the fenders and didn't like purchase the shock tower mounts because I want to keep my rock light slots so I'm going to put rock lights in this now for the body mount I'll show you how it sits and it sits perfect so just push it down and the magnets are super strong so that so the back is in so the rear is in then I'm going to see the front as you can see just, uh, seeing it's heavy yeah that's the next thing the body is heavy so that's how that magnet sits on that and that magnet sits on that Whoa, my killing, and then that sits like that. Yep, and that's it. Easy, easy, easy. It's very, very sturdy, as you can see. So these are 10 kg magnets. It suits the body. This thing flips, turns over, rolls, and the body doesn't come off. Hasn't come off yet. <laughs> so that's how I mount the body. Then now uh, we're going to talk about lights. So for the lights, all the lights are connected. So there's bulb, 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 bulbs. For this kit, you're gonna need all these small lamps. So lights, lights, lights. There's a back and the rear. Got lights, lights, lights. These are reflectors, but these are actual lights. These you can. Yeah, these you cannot put um, bulbs in these. They're just reflectors, but. All these are lights that works and they're connected up all connected up via uh, my track source lighting control module and those lamps the small ones those are the three millimeter black black those are three mils so you're gonna need this size that size three mils and the, the headlamps, only the headlamps, those are five mils. So I'm gonna show you now how it's connected underneath the stand. By the way, it might say this switch, I'm wondering why it is. It's a switch that controls my cooling fan. So whenever it gets hot, um, the temperature control system beeps on the tr tracks us up and then I could I'll do a pull over, open the bonnet, flip that on, Turn the sun, turn the fans on because this is actually a, a fan. Let me see if I can get it off. Yeah, it's a powerful fan, two powerful fans for the motor. Just slaps onto that. I will put the link in the description as well for this unit if you want to purchase it. Uh, just connects it. Just connection there. J, I think that's JST plugs, and it just turns it on and turns it off. Whenever I want to cool it down, that's the Traxxas control. That's the pro scale. 
power module and these are modified so all the lighting system in this is modified and speaking of modified let's get to that now let's take this off it's heavy oh. Oof. So those are the lamps. So there's the three mills there. So that's orange, white, red. Orange, white, red, three mills. They're all wired in. All wired in. To one connection. This is for the reverse light. And they're all goes inside the Traxxas control module. And that's five mils, three and three mils. That's five mils in pockets. And these light kits. So that's the one. So this is that's one of the red ones I use for the rear. I'm trying to find. And these are one of the white ones. Are warm white ones I use for the headlamps. So these are what I use. off ebay and some few off amazon i'll link those in the description as well and all i did was to swear it in and i had to purchase a jr kit so it's a done point jr kit and it comes with this as well and then an individual crimp the wires so I just crimp these the ends onto these and make a connection that connects this. And then for the Traxxas Pro Scale Lighting Module, it comes, sorry, yeah, it comes looking like that. So the hard bit is going to the Traxxas Pro Scale Lighting Module manual, the lighting manual to find out what light does what, which connectors or which color does what which color is the headlamps which color is the brake reverse which is the rock light scene lights all that stuff and then connect the required lights that you want to connect so i've connected my hazards i've connected the brakes I've connected the park lamps hazards I haven't connected the reverse yet and i've connected the park lamps at the front the hazard lamps and the side lights, those are all connected. I've also connected on the chassis car itself. Uh. On the car itself, I've connected bumper lights. So these lights came in the bumper. I'll put the link in the description for these for this bumper as well. It's Iron, complete everything is iron. Connected those. Front bumper lamps as well, fog lamps. Iron as well, iron, iron, iron. Everything is just completely metal. Fog lamps I've, I've connected uh, inside the other lighting, light, lighting module. So there's two lighting modules that comes with the pro scale kit there's one for the body and there's one for the chassis and this connects it to the chassis which extends the lighting system so this lighting system it is a really really good lighting system because whatever lights are in you get here whatever connectors you get your connections for the lights you get the same here Yes, I think, that, I think that one is my scene lamps, which is these lights. I think the second one is my fog lamps. And the third one is my side lights or parking lamps. That one. So, so that one also turns on parking lamps for the rear and these two lights. And these two at the side. Oops. 
yep so that's basically how i set it up it's a complete modified system works perfect flawless and it's all controlled via the Traxxas app, app. so i've got the bluetooth module i need to do a separate video showing how it works because i need to have two phones doing the video I need to do a screen record and set up my other phone on the tripod so you can see when i touch touch what what comes on touch what button in the app which light comes on and how it works it works flawless and simple easy 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 simple build oh. on, on. <laughs> these are not the actual wheels i wanted to use these are the truck shots stock tires the actual tires that are bought for this truck are these good ears but for some reason the rim just doesn't mount these are rims the back doesn't mount properly on these tires so I have to resort back to the truck so tires temporary reuse until I've got get the next version of this rim same design but with the internal bead locks if you look you can see where that one sits can't even use all the screws I can only use a few screws to hold it in so that's an external mounting system that's an internal mounting system this tire uses the internal mounting system I didn't forgot to check that before I bought it on this one, I got this from RC Four Wheel Drive. You can see RC Four Wheel Drive. Super, super, super good tires. Oh, this bad boy needs a drive shaft. That's coming from China. Yep. So that's my TRX Four lighting system. Oh, 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 oh. 